Hey Five Makers, it's Lila with LB Novelties and it's time to plan out my first weekly spread for September in my Scribbles That Matter um, journal. Really excited to start a new month of planning in this awesome journal that I've been enjoying. And this is how much I've filled in already. I'm really loving it. And if you guys last saw my video, I did Harry Potter. Um, and this is gonna be the whole theme for the month of September because September is when they head to Hogs, Hogwarts and um, I am doing all my fall themed content and like the fall florals in my happy planner but I'm using my bullet journal just to be more of a fun aspect of drawing and creating creative and just really letting my creativity loose so I'm loving this so much. Um, if you haven't seen this video, again, I have it posted up already and you can see how I put this together. And I love this calendar so much. It's just so pretty. So this time around, we are going into the first week of September. And on September 1st is when the um, Hogwarts students head to Hogwarts. So I'm gonna make a really fun spread. And my idea for this is, I have the stickers just with the dates. And what I want to do is I have this cardstock that kind of looks like parchment paper, like kind of like antique parchment paper. And I'm going to cut it out to look like the envelope that Harry Potter receives um, when he heads to Hogwarts. So I'm thinking I'm going to make it like kind of coming out of this side right here. And then I can kind of just create my rest of my spread here. So that's the vision I have. But you know, I just like to kind of let loose and see what happens. So. Let's get to it, planning in my first week of September. Okay, so what I wanna do is, I'm trying to see how I wanna do this. I think I'm gonna do like a little bit of a corner of an envelope coming out here, and it'll just kinda of start like Mr. Harry Potter, you know, kind of like that lettering that lets me know this is the letter for Harry Potter. And then I think I wanna do one like this, and it'll be the back side of the envelope, and I could maybe do my to-do list. That's kind of the goal. <laughs> So what I want to do is measure out to where I need to cut this um, to make it work for the vision that I have. So I'm trying to see how do I need to cut this. Okay, let's give me a sec to figure this out. How did I want to do this? Well, like this. Okay, so then it would just need to be kind of like that. Okay. Hopefully that's how I want it. If not, I have four other corners to go off of. And let's cut this like that. I'm really excited because I don't have the pole in the way anymore for um, filming so I can have more freedom to get comfortable and create content here because bullet journaling was getting a little too hard for me. Okay, so I think it'll be easy for me to cut the rest off here, but I like that idea of that being like this, and I'll say Mr. Harry Potter. Okay, so that's taped down, and I'm just gonna have to trim off the excess. And my other goal too is, since it's the envelopes and the owls are the ones that deliver it, I'm gonna try to draw out an owl. So that's gonna be the goal. We have this one, and now I gotta make the other one. Okay, so I'm loving this concept and I'm gonna do the envelope um, going kind of in a little bit of a slant. So it looks like it's shooting out. And I'm gonna put it like this. So I'm gonna tape this down and then I could start drawing on it. And then I think I'm gonna draw the owl here and then just list out my days on this page. And um, I think it's looking like exactly the vision I had for first week of Harry Potter theme is you getting your like letter to go to Hogwarts. Be like that okay that's cute and then i do want to create the seal you know the seal that you get and i'm not sure if i even want to write a to-do list i think i'm just gonna leave it like that decorative and i th i have an idea of bringing out some of those uh, metallic pens and maybe doing some little doodles around here too but for now i'm liking this but i'm really excited like i was saying because um, Alicia, who was a past squad member, has her shop, Alicia Michelle XO. If you don't know who she is, she is amazing at sticker making. Oh my God, I love her stickers. So um, I will put her handle here. Um, so you could go check out her um, Instagram page. She has on her bio link, her Etsy shop. 
and she has some amazing stickers. So she just did her fall release. I'm not sure if some of the stickers are still available, the ones that came out for the fall release, just check out her shop. But I ordered some Harry Potter ones because I'm so excited. I hope they get here in time for me to be able to use it for one of my spreads. That's the goal. If not, I'll use it for October because it's Halloween time. But um, I'm really so now that I have the layout out, I'm gonna start doing my little quick sketching and coloring like I normally do. So, you know, I'll just be speeding up the process, but throwing some music on. I wish I had some Harry Potter music to put along with this. I'm not sure what's royalty free. Uh, again, I'm still kind of new to like the YouTube music section of it. So I'm just picking something that goes along with this. Um, but if I could, I would put some Harry Potter music. Okay guys, so I'm really loving this side and all I did was add some of this, I'm not sure I say this, permapake um, metallic marker. I did some little like little stars and stuff and I have this um, sticker sheet from the Happy Planner and it's just like when you have those undated um, planners monthlies and I'm just going to use this one that says September because I like how it's written and it's going to go right over here just to let me know this is the first week of September. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start planning out this side, but this looks super cute. I love how it turned out. And now I'm just gonna do my actual where I can plan my layout and I'm gonna draw a little owl here. So I think I'm gonna do the same just horizontal planning that I've been doing because I really like that. And um, use the owl as like the little decorative. So I think I'll draw the owl first and that way I can um, draw the layout lines later. Okay guys, how cute is this owl? He's so cute, I love it. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do my daily um, sections. And I have this sheet right here. Let me just bring out the sticker book that it's from. So this is from the Journaling Multi-Accessory Pack. This is not available anymore. This is an older accessory pack, unless you find it in some local craft store, but I haven't seen it in Joann's lately. Um, I think this might be available in Hobby Lobby, actually. I'm trying to remember if I've seen this. But I think maybe Hobby Lobby, but this one's really great for those of you that are bullet journalers. Love this. So they have days in it, and I like this one. Um, I was thinking of using maybe the green one, but I think I'm gonna stick to this, and then I'm gonna try to do like the back line in a color, and then have, so this is clear, have that kind of pop behind it. So that's why I wanna use these like it's like a gray with black um so i'll use my sharpie marker to do like a line behind it and then place that behind it so now i'm just going to measure out uh, monday through sunday All right, so the lines are drawn out and I'm gonna add like a quote down here because this is an extra space. And I like that I added the owl first because then I could just make him um, kind of be three dimensional and I just drew the lines along him. So that was a good tip to draw out your drawing fills first if you wanna add a drawing over your layout. Let's see how thick I need to make this. So I just wanna make a pop of color behind this and I'm gonna do yellow. So I need to do it. That. So let's see what it's gonna look like. A pop of yellow. Oh, I like that, that looks cool. And I think I'm gonna just do them all yellow. So I was gonna alternate between the red, blue, and green, but I think it's gonna be hard to see them behind the darker colors. 
So we'll just stick to yellow. Right, so now I just gotta lay out my days for each of these highlighted sections. And um, I gotta come up with, or look for a sticker quote. So I like to add st sticker quotes. This looks so good. I'm loving this. I'm definitely gonna use these again with the highlighted backdrop. Looks really awesome. How cute is this? Do you guys see that? I'm trying to get this where the light doesn't. Okay, look at that. So cute. Yes, I love when a good spread comes out. Love it, and I could plan right here. Okay guys, I found the perfect quote. Well, actually two. So I think I'm gonna do, so this is again the Joann's one, and it says, you are magic, which is perfect for Harry Potter theme. I'm gonna pull this one out. And I think I wanna do Be You Bravely, because Harry Potter needs to be brave and be himself and learn to um, kind of navigate being a wizard. So I'm trying to see how I can do this, both of these. So we're gonna make this work. You are magic. And be you bravely. Oh my God, that's perfect, yes. Y'all, when you find a good sticker quote, it's a good day. All right, Vibe Makers, my first weekly spread for my Harry Potter month is done. And if I could tell you how much my heart is loving this spread right now, for those that love Harry Potter, you understand how freaking in love I am with this spread. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm loving doing bullet journaling so much just because I really have felt my creativity just get taken up a notch and this is so freaking cute so let me bring this up close um there is all days and I love mixing stickers with markers so you can use your happy planner stickers in bullet journaling you are magic be you bravely harry potter how cute is this owl and then the idea of the envelopes so freaking cute I'm loving this so in love yay <laughs> you guys can tell when i'm really excited so hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos and know that i really am just enjoying this and sharing this with you my beloved bite makers because if this is a part of me i love harry potter i love to draw and i love to share more of who i am through my planning and hopefully this inspires you to have fun and you know venture out and try something new and um if you are a bullet journal and are new to my channel i love happy planning so if you don't know what happy planning is i have videos on my um, youtube channel about it but i'm really loving bullet journaling and just the fun concept of it so stay tuned for more fun videos in my bullet journal don't forget to hit the like button and let me know if you're loving these uh fun themed spreads if you are new to my channel definitely subscribe to my channel because i'm posting new content as often as i can um, whenever I have time to film, I love to do that. And as always, guys, peace and love. You are magic.